Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis here, and today we're going to be covering the K1 Communion Lost Master, should say, difficulty Lost Sector. So when you see this thing, the reward may be different than what it is today, so I'm not really going to focus on that. But modifiers, we've got Fallen Champions Barrier and Overload. Fallen modifier is Arachno. Destination modifier is Void and Aerial Damage taken is Increased. Uh, the Burn is Solar. That's the big one. The boss shoots solar. There's quite a bit that's going to hit you with solar in here. And the master modifier is famine, which we do want to try and account for as much as possible, but you can definitely be short on ammo. So, the only shields you're really going to face in here are a heavy shank. Uh, I think it's just the one or two in the end. So, you're already going to have solar covered, so it's really up to you and what you want to go with. But you're going to need um, barrier, which I'm going to run scout, and overload, which I'm going to run hand cannon. Hand cannon, personally, more reliable than submachine gun. If you like running a submachine gun, that is totally up to you. But for me, I just think hand cannons are a bit more reliable because it's the three tap and then at least you're set. Um, whatever your heavy is, whatever you choose to run, rocket launcher, grenade launcher, and your even linear fusion rifle, sword would probably be a bit brave, but it's up to you really. Um, you know, try it and see if it works. Machine gun, I don't think is going to be your best option until they get buffed, hopefully next season. So for now, you might put that one on the back burner for a master lost sector. You might get away with this in a legend, but master, you got to be a little more powerful. So here we've got outrageous fortune. This is one of mine. It's got field prep. So I do have extra reserves. I've got spike. I've got ambitious assassin, but you still should be able to take a overload champion specifically the ones that are the harder to kind of nuke from you know even full down to low health enough to where you can finish them off and that's usually the goal with an overload champion not always easy to do but that's usually what you're going for otherwise you got to flip back to your hand cannon if you don't hit all five if you get six maybe get an extra one but if you're running grenade launcher make sure you run breach and clear if you're not running grenade launcher pretty much anything else I would probably advise running Sundering Blast. So you, if you stun a champion, you get an Explosive Blast. If you got anything using, you know, Energy Accelerant, then you can mix that in. If you're running Arc, you could. But honestly, as there's only a Solar Shield in here, you can go basically Solar down the whole line and have bonus damage because it matches the burn. So Solar Scout Rifle, it's available this season. Solar Subclass, you guys know I'm not going to use my Super, but feel free to use it as much as you can. It's only going to help. Biggest thing, Famine, um, Scavenger, Reserves, Ammo Finder. Use those perks because it seems when those are on, Heavy is a bit more reliably dropping. If you don't have those on, especially if Famine is out there, Heavy Ammo could definitely be a problem, and you're going to need some of that to work with. Uh, other than that, whatever your hat, your chest piece is, always throw that resistance on there. This is like 25% arc resistance, I think because they took it out of all the other slots and put it right here. So if you put this on, it's, you know, a really, really solid buff. So my advice is definitely get your resistance on there. Whatever your chest is, just match it. Arc and Solar are probably two fa favorable ones. Void is going to be a little less beneficial. I am running Protective Lights. Other than that, pretty straightforward. Basic Hand Cannon, Major Spec. Basic Scout Rifle, Major Spec. Grenade Launcher, Major Spec. Whatever you're going to do for Solar, of course, that's going to be good. For Exotics, specifically Weapons, you got Xenophage, it's going to be an excellent, excellent choice. Um, Two-Tailed Fox might not actually be bad. I know it's half Void, half Solar, but a double rocket launcher. I don't know how hard this hits. At some point, I'll have to test it out. Sleeper Simulant, I hear this thing hits like a, just a truck, so definitely an option. As of tomorrow, you might be able to clear out some rooms. I don't know how that's going to do on single target damage, though, so I haven't actually used that thing because I don't have it. Um, those are the main ones. Lament might work on some of the overload champions, but of course, on the other side, you might be risking it for the boss or just planking away at the boss. You got, you know, give and take on some of these, but that pretty much covers most of the exotics in the character. So let's jump in, see if I can guide you guys through this one. So here we go. All right. So when you start first room is going to have quite a few adds and then also an overload captain and eventually a barrier servitor so if you can get a decent run on a grenade let that get some work in my grenade actually did some something reasonable now i'm not actually trying to stun that captain really like for the kill i'm just trying to take out any other adds i can while that captain is at bay and also, if you die right now, it's not the end of the world. I'm trying not to. But if you do, just know it's not the end, because after 15 minutes, that's when it's the end. 
which you guys will see a fun outtake where that happened to me three times. So outtakes will be at the end of this one, but there are some in there. Vandals are in the back. Dregs are throwing grenades. I'm sorry, Marauder is the invisible dude in the back. Wherever he went. Drag will be throwing grenades from who knows where. Sometimes you can, you know, use that front as some safety. Sometimes you'll get the barrier servitor just to... S you want to try and kill as many of the adds as possible? Oh my god, that's a lot of stuff flying at me. And here's the problem in getting the barrier server to spawn without clearing too many of the adds. Your goal is to limit the adds for all the stuff flying at you, because you still have to somehow deal with champions in the middle of all this grenade insanity. Now, if that dude is throwing grenades, he's up at the front somewhere. There we go. Grenades should slow a bit. Now, I don't know how he hasn't actually gone this popped his shield yet. If I can get aggressive on that, I will definitely do it. Doesn't always work that way, but sometimes... But yeah, the barrier, whenever you go for the kill, I would advise popping some heavy into him. It's going to be worth your time. Because then you still have to kill the overload guy. But at least you got less other stuff with you. So try and find any non-champion adds. Fall down here, watch these things, they can mess you up. Typically, when I go to finish the Vandal, I'm going to do it from about down here. Yeah, that champion's the one firing fast. You just got to see if he's alone. Typically, I'll come around this side. Now, overload captains, they are frustrating. I get you. Three shots, normal hand cannon, subs, machine guns. I typically don't even try. We'll stun. When you get the stun, if I can hit him with five of my grenades, because I've got breach and clear for the first one, and then I've also got spike grenades, I can do the finisher. If you got him with hit him with anything else, you got to be aggressive about it. So I'm going to show you guys this one because it's a bit more controlled. I'm going to hit him four times and then show you how you have to keep hitting him with the hand cannon like at least six times before you even take a break to reload to make sure you can even keep his health down. Because otherwise the health regen and overloads is probably the most annoying part. So one, two, three. Done. One, two, three, and four. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Take a second. Reload. Still get aggressive with him. Keep it on. Notice how his health came back? That's what I'm talking about. The health regen on overload captains is a bit ridiculous. Like, I'm continuously hitting him with this stuff. And his health came back again. Okay, prime example. So this is why you want to kill overloads. Even me just constantly, you know, putting out that damage, doing what I feel I should be doing. Constantly hit him with overload just to teleport and go. And it's like his teleport sometimes just reset his health and there's nothing you can really do. So hit him three times. And this is how I typically go. One, two, three, four, five. That's going to be your reliable kill. Anything other than that is going to be very, very difficult. It works out that that was in the beginning and I actually survived all of that. So you guys can see overload champions. Honestly, I just think Bungie's got to look at them. I'm... Um, I'm, I get that they can be managed, definitely in groups, but it's like their unreliability in their health regeneration really is something I think just needs kind of checked, basically, best, best way not to say it. All right, so once you get out here, three drags, three shanks, and an overload captain. When you kill the rest of the adds, the overload will just mosey on back, so kill these guys first. And let him get out there. If you have any ammo back here, like heavy, I picked mine up already. But if you have any heavy, pick it up and bring it with you. And you can honestly, you can always run back to the start. So if you get generous heavy drops in one place, but not in another, go back and get it if you need to. As soon as you touch the ground, those three are going to come out. That grenade works pretty well. Come back up. You're going to see a barrier servitor come out. Before you even worry about the barrier servitor, you can work on, you know, a drag or two that are running back. Not bad to kill those if you get the shot. Main two focuses right now. These two vandals up top on the upper deck. Because their snipes are going to hurt. And they're the ones that are going to throw you off a little bit. You got any more adds doing things like this guy down here. Now, I'm going to try and get a little more consistent shots here on our barrier guy. 
did not mean to fall. I'm going to be completely honest. I do want to actually fight the barrier up here. You don't want to be airborne for very long. Or at least exposed if you are airborne. I do have some heavy, so I can be a little more aggressive with that if I want to. I'll have to get to the point where he goes to pop the shield. I might go for the long-range shots here. And then if I can unload on him, make sure you're breaking that shield and finish him up. That was a reasonably placed grenade, it would seem. There we go. Got a straggler down here. There we go. Clear most of these out, and we'll get to pretty much what's next, which is just a lot more ads. There we go. And now you'll see more come out. Pick up what you can. More vandals. A lot of ads from the side get aggressive now. Captain's going to be a bit more in the mix. So take a second. Let things maneuver where they're going to. Again, not actually trying to kill that captain. Just trying to stun him so I can change positions. So you want to be able to get down here. And possibly shift that captain to the side. So you're going to have some ads tucked back here. Sometimes some vandals. So be careful about those. Yep, just like that. Plenty of ads out in the middle. The barrier servitor is kind of the focus once we clear the ads out. Grab me a little ammo. Overload will typically do some shifting now. So if I can get a grenade over on that little platform. A couple are down. A couple might burn. There's a lot coming at you over here. I'm going to be honest. Healing rift or just change position. Barrier for me. Trying to find what I can actually shoot that is not shielded. Not always an easy proposition. Barrier servitor has quite the range. If you're still seeing grenades get thrown, you gotta figure out where those are coming from. They're going to make things mighty difficult. There we go. Here's these middle guys. So yeah, arc resistance is probably not a horrible idea. Solar is good too. It'll help you survive probably one more shot from the boss. But arc resistance up until the boss is going to have its benefits as well. Love how we jump behind his overload, buddy. Save me, Captain. Like, Captains are chickens. It's not who you want to depend on. This one little vandal always like... Plays the positioning game with me, and I want him dead. There we go. At some point, the captain will go all the way back. See if you got any other straggler friends. And then it's mostly going to be you and two champions. Now, you can, if you've got ammo, which I need a little bit of regular, so I'm going to pop over here. Grab a little ammo. And the nice thing is you can have enough range in this room with a scout rifle to do most of what you need to do. Once the shield pops, you can get kind of aggressive if you got heavy out there. If you have to reload your heavy, well, like I was dumb there. Be ready for the shield break if I can lob one right. And down. Now, I have a lot of heavy in here. So, I'm in a fortunate position that I can be a bit more aggressive with this captain. But remember, the heavy bricks are worth like seven. If you're running grenade launchers, try and get the most out of them. So, again, here. Overload captains, very frustrating. In these controlled circumstances, go for the heavy kill if you can in one phrase. Because, or one frame. Frame. Phase. Because trying to do, like, the continuous damage, like, plinking them with this one. As they teleport, they reset that one too much. And it's just a pain in the butt. Five and a finisher. What well, seems to work for me. Grab some heavy. I've still got plenty more in the back of the room, so I'm good on heavy at this point. But I know I've got it back in this room if I need to come back to it. Don't forget about it. It's not going anywhere. This lost sector is going to take a while if you're going for the method I'm doing. So we'll be here for a while. You might want to come back. A couple marauders in here. Work those down. 
Take quite a few shots. Really? There we go. Gonna have a few out in the middle there. Same principle on this guy. Try and get the stun. Now, the Vandals did die, so you got the little slowdown thing on the ground. Try and clear that out. Honestly, just because my health sucks, I'm not even going to push it right now. I'm going to take a second, let him get back to normal, let me get back to normal, and try this thing again. If you want to come over here, you can get a little closer, so when you do get those shots ready... You notice there's an overload captain right in the doorway. There are two, so you've got to be cautious. So now you're going to be dealing with, like, Vandal, Dregs. Watch those things. And there's still a captain over here. We know this. But notice again, I went for the stun, not the kill right now. Seeing what other ads are up and around. If he stays in that corner... Then I'll get after him. He's likely to teleport away, though. Dealing with some other stuff. Chunk a grenade. Let those guys do their thing and burn a minute. Fine. Now. You run up here. You're going to spawn the three wretch, which my suggestion is to take care of those before you just, like, charge after the captain. They're down. Make life a little easier. There might be a drag or anything up, so you might see if there's any more adds that haven't been killed with him. If it's just him. Go for the standard three. You're good there. Patience, the fun virtue. And now the final room. You're going to spend all the time in here. We're at 12 minutes already. So I've only got two more minutes to be aggressive. So, you're going to have dregs. You're going to have vandals. You're going to have marauders. And you're also going to have overload captains. Just in this opening section. And they can just do laps around this room. So this whole room gets to be a little chaotic. My advice, try and hit what you can with a grenade. If you get lucky with some kills, like that is probably one of my best ones I've done all day and I've done this a few times. Now at least they know you're here, but you killed a few. But there's going to be a lot of stuff coming through, so... Don't worry too much about trying to get everything on one shot. That's not even remotely going to happen. You can hear the Marauder around the corner. He's got a solar shotgun, so he would kind of ruin me. Yeah, you got Dreg, Marauder, shifting around, doing their things. Now, if you ever get a point to where you can get an Overload Captain in somewhat of a controlled position on this upper level, especially before the second one comes into play, which they're both in there now, so my life just got more fun. If you get a chance to go after an Overload Captain, kind of in this early section up here, go for it. It's probably where you're going to have to kill them anyway as they do their laps around the room, but for now... I'm just going to let things roam the room. Try and clear these things out if you see them. Because every time you kill a Vandal, they drop one of those. In case you're wondering where they all come from, that's that modifier. Uh, what is it called? Arachno. When defeated, fallen Vandals spawn a web mine at their feet. So every time they die, it's like the good old martyrdom from uh, Call of Duty. But again, look around the room. See what you can find to kill ad-wise. And just start trying to thin out everything that you've got to face. You'll eventually get most of it. It's going to take you a little while, though, to get it all. Occasionally you might get a good grenade. Occasionally you won't. But yeah, you'll have stuff all around this thing. And that's why switching sides, it does get these guys to move. And I mean, they move a lot. Should be another drag somewhere. There you are. Those little tracer shots. And I'm out of revive. So 1520. Already passed that number. And as you come across, so do they. It's a fun way that this works. Now. It's like they know where I am. That seems to be cheating. Your goal is to try and get those overload captains slightly separated somehow. And do I have a good answer as to how to do that? Not specifically. I'm going to run through this middle section, probably in a stupid way, but grabbing some ammo. 
I think they're probably going to make the lap around the entire back of the room right now. I killed one Tracer Shank. So if you thin enough out, you are going to have double overload captains, but you also have your heavy shank. This is your one shielded enemy in the whole, whole thing. And at least it's solar. But yeah, that is like the least of your worries. That's the one thing that shoots void and you're like, oh void, oh no. The heavy shank is like the easiest part of this entire thing. And just hanging out back there and being like, oh, what's up? What are you doing? And he dropped heavy. So I'm actually doing well on heavy. I gotta be honest. That's going pretty, pretty well. My problem at this point, I have to try and get close enough to somehow try and kill two overload captains that are on top of each other. And I don't really have a great way to do that because I don't have my arc grenade that would kill them and stun them together. I'm only going to have the bullets that are going to stun one. And I can't die because then I start this thing over. And if I reset again, I might have one more attempt at this. Because in about 25 minutes while I'm recording this thing, the servers are going to reset for a daily reset and then um, SOL. The only other side I can get to is hopefully over here. And I just have to hope the other captain doesn't as much get in my way or I can just keep the aggression on the one. And he's already literally getting his health back right now. That's so ridiculous. Now, if I can keep the aggression on him, I'm going to try anything I can with heavy for the kill. Try and keep the... Oh, I'm trying to still damage him. He's going to get his health back so soon. Nope, he's still not. Hope for the best here. Oh, it's recharging. It's recharging. No. Oh, see, this is what's ridiculous. This is why, honestly, I would tell you guys to use Xenophage, because I can just sit there and plink him away from halfway across the map. These grenades are tough, and I can't even finish them. So now I do have to abuse some of the heavy ammo that's on the map. Oh, ow. Tracer shots also. Trace. They will follow you for a while. Halfway across the room, it would seem. I can find some way to get close to these two. Oh, for once, they actually don't know I'm here. Now, this is probably dumb. I'm going to be totally honest. I'm going to try and keep the damage on this way. I'm pretty sure his health is back up. Yep, they're both full. All right, time to retreat. This is actually a problem. Well, if I can get through this for you guys, hopefully you'll see if you get into this unfortunate situation how to do it. I gotta figure out how to do it first. My heavy's not hitting hard enough. I'm trying not to use my super. That's one of the things I'm trying not to do for you guys. Because I don't want you depending on any super. But at this point, a golden gun, Celestial Nighthawk golden gun, a Well of Radiance just to sit there and reload and power through everything that's coming out. I still don't know if Well of Radiance would make it through the, their type of damage. But the boss you probably couldn't manage. These guys, maybe. Um, but yeah, golden gun, hammers. Put some work in with those. It'd be great. Yeah, I need to hit him with all five grenades. So we're close. Now I just gotta keep the pressure on with the hand cannon. Gotta reload. Throw a grenade and hope for the best. Ah, got one. Oh. Literally, it can be that spicy. Also running very low on heavy at this point, which is not great. Well, I may as well kick a few of those off. Hide. Watch your health. Those tracer shots will follow you halfway across the room. Just like that. They never end. So now if I can change positions and get after the other side. As soon as you do finish off the last captain, you got to run to the back of the room anyway. Yeah, I'm going to be a little aggressive here. It's going to be dumb. I have a feeling we're going to die for this, but we got to try. Alright, so if I do kill him here, I have to sprint out of here. Like, the wind. 
Grab any ammo I can. Boss is going to be spawning. He shoots solar that just ruins you and deletes you. Lots of stuff is going to be spawning. I'm trying to literally get back to the start of the room. Okay. Boss is out. He's going to have some buddies, marauders, shanks, things like that. So be careful. As you do damage to him, he's going to rotate. So he starts up here. Then he's going to rotate over to this platform at about a quarter of his health through. 50% he'll be here. 75% over here. Last little bit, he'll be back there in the middle. And you've got two champions along the way. One barrier that launches kind of with this side. One barrier with over here. So it's a large patience game. And there's not a good way to speed this process along. Throw a grenade over there. See about getting things started. There's one nightmare shank over there that's just going to take a little while. Xenophage is what I would recommend. Highly, highly recommend in here. The damage you can do that you can put in at range is far beyond anything you'll get with a grenade launcher. And you can have like 30 rounds, so it's just easier to manage. You've got a nightmare shank you gotta work with, work on a little bit. And then him. Now this is also where I would probably tell you every so often you probably would use your super, because if you're patient enough, you're gonna get your super up every so often. But as I'm not using them, I'm trying so hard to do this without a super. I really want to pop it, though, sometimes. Unfortunately, mine is not like a one-hit super, so on a barrier, it might work just fine. On an overload captain, my super is actually horrible. Which is unfortunate, but it definitely is not really going to do much for me. I'm trying to save up my heavy ammo right now for the servitors, because I'm definitely going to be pretty cautious on those. Try to use my hand cannon ammo because I don't have any more overloads, but it just doesn't do that much damage at range, so that's the unfortunate part about it. Submachine wouldn't, wouldn't be much better. But also, I always try and throw the grenade, kind of bounce it off that pillar just because the grenade I'm using. And then at least I know I'm getting some damage on something. Usually something's going to be through the middle. Yeah, I don't have a very specific way to do this fast. If you don't have a heavy that's going to hit him hard, or if you're trying to save your heavy, you got to be cautious with your ammo, and you're doing damage with primaries. At least the Solar Scout rifle is doing something, but... I don't think he's moving yet. You'll know because it'll say a champion spawns. You'll know when the champion comes out to play. There he goes. Champion has appeared, so now you're going to want to play cover back more in this angle. And I was like, there's no way I'm going to get to play with the champion over there. So you got a Vandal. Be cautious about the Vandal first. Probably the most annoying, depending on what they fire at you. But you can use this whole section. Now, I can get some heavy up here, which is definitely going to ease some restrictions of what I'm able to hit. Here's some ammo. And if you get something to get away from those shields, make sure you tag it while you can. Because if anything's... Yeah, these guys knocked out by... How he is still shielded, I don't know. Oh, you're going to play here, huh? Time to reload, but I'm still going to go for it. Pop your shield. Just don't kill me. Die. Both of you. Thank you. Got the Vandal and the Servitor. Okay. Not bad. Normally, he does not come up there, but this is a long enough run. You guys are probably okay with it. Normally, I'm dealing with him down there, which is if you can find a good angle like this where the Servitor's tucked over there, use it. Yeah, this is where it, I would just tell you guys, use your use your super. You're probably screaming at me to use mine, honestly. So you're like, I don't care, just finish this thing. There we go. I can get a little more aggressive with the hand cannon, but be cautious. Not 
a bad little angle here. Oh man. I really wanted that grenade to do some good. It did not. I don't know where that nightmare drag came from though. I don't remember him. Well, if I get to a certain point in this and I use my super, if you guys will forgive me, I just want to make sure this thing actually gets finished and recorded. Because I'm always basically in really tight, tight straights here. I'm trying to get my grenade back so I can get some chunk damage on them. Ow. I'm literally head glitching a PvE enemy right now. All right, grenade is up. Please let this one not suck. Oh, ads are spawning. Be careful. Means stuff is gonna shift around the room. Did enough damage at least, but I moved him. Now he's gonna be across the room, along with some other stuff. Tracer shanks, priority number one. Snipers are gonna hurt. Marauders, if you find them, make sure they don't catch you off guard as they're invisible. Couple vandals hanging out on this side. There we go. There's your other Marauder. Trying to thin out the ads that you gotta deal with. But still mostly just him. Again, use any cover you can if you got to hunt for ammo for a little while. Oh, man. I'm not entirely... Oh, really? A grenade? Man. That was a hell of a grenade. Whoever... Uh, was that that Nightmare Drag? Is he still over there? And again, you can use the sides that you can get to. Just know that if you do enough damage, he's coming over where I'm standing right now. So if this is where you're hanging out, he's going to be headed your way. And that's a chunk of damage. Not bad. Hoping to find that nightmare drag. I don't know where he went to. Yeah, you gotta use the whole room. Now, if I can get a flawless on this one, the slow patience will be worth it. If I really don't finish this one today, I'm gonna be mad. But again, you don't have to do this flawless, but after 15 minutes... If you're using Xenophage, you can do this so much faster because the champions are not nearly as much of an issue. If you get some ammo to drop, it's really manageable. But just this grenade launcher or legendary weapon in general is going to be tough. Obviously, you guys can see Lament would probably not be worth your time. You're going to get one more champion. I want that Nightmare Drag gone before I put that champion out here. I just can't find... Yeah, he's like, he's hiding so well. Where's champion guy? Or Nightmare. There you are. I got some damage. I don't know if I can. Ah, I got him down. Thank you. There we go. One less grenade thrower is a good thing. All right. Doing okay on ammo. See if I can send him to the next phase across the room. Shouldn't take long. That last. There you go. Literally right there. Like three bullets. Now, ads are going to be coming out. So just be aware. Looks like I've got some more coming. Catch any while they run across. But again, he's going to be opposite side of the room. And the Servitor is your focus. So again, trying to get use of your heavy ammo. If possible. I'm going to try and play like peekaboo with this guy. Come on. There we go. Ooh, I'm in trouble. I got to be cautious here. He's going to teleport and pop that shield. I know he is. Come on. Get that grenade out of, him, out of my face. He's going to pop that shield any second. Down in the middle. Damn it. This guy's got to go. Come on. 
Come on. Okay. Progress. Not great, but progress. Now we can kill the abs that are doing all that fun. Gotta find them first. Gotta drag down there. So you can use this side as well. Watch for the vandal droppings. The fun term. Got a little ammo there. Hopefully that. There we go. Little little hit up there. Champions are down, so you could be more aggressive with the boss if you want to. Um, not a bad thing, because at this point all your champions are down, so you should get platinum rewards. So if you can kill the boss and then everything else goes with it, you'll probably be okay. Nightmare Drag, they're so they're so cagey and Heidi that you'll probably never get a great shot on them. Alright, teleporty. Alright, he's out in the middle now. Now, you also have Exploder Shanks coming your way, so be ready for those. Coming from multiple angles, so if you gotta pull all the way back in here and you've made it this far, 30 minutes later, you don't wanna waste it. So you got Vandals, Exploder Shanks, they'll be Roman. I don't know if they'll actually come in here. That was a well-placed grenade. Some nice delayed reaction on those orbs. But yeah, Exploder Shanks are definitely gonna try and kick your butt. Kill them from safety. Watch for Vandal Snipes. Kill him from as far away as you need to. A lot of grenades. Made it this far without the super. I'm not going to do it, but man, would be a glorious finish with that. I'm also starting to get low on ammo, so I'm going to start trying to lob some grenades over there. That wasn't the specific one. I bounced off and hit nothing, which is always fun. Where'd he go? How do I miss you every time? That's a hit. It's a baby hit. They'll know, huh? Wow, that was completely squat. I'm gonna have to start shooting him with a hand cannon from here because I'm about to be out of ammo. Oh, there's a vandal over there. That's not great. Well, we've made it this far. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the run. The outtakes will be after this at the end. How do my grenades not hit anything up there? They must be bouncing off a wall or not landing where I think they're going to be. Just die, you ugly giant nightmare of Razan the Lost. He has so little health. I'm also doing so little damage. I wonder how much health he actually has in his health. Ow. Health pool. Oh. 35 minutes on this one. Give it a second. Make sure there's no more ads. I still see something on my radar. But be cautious up here. I think that nightmare is still up. I think you finally dissipated. All right. Well, that is the slowest probably video you'll see in the K1 communion, but that is no exotics, no super, legendary weapons only. And somebody's like, and that's all you got for it. That's why I don't do masters. That's a discussion for a different day. But that is a wrap on K1 communion. Let's get back to the planet surface and we'll wrap this up just in time. So yeah, that is master difficulty K1 communion lost sector.
overload champions, a bit of an issue. Again, my advice, if you have it at all, and if you're doing Masters, I'm hoping you do, Xenophage is fantastic in here because you can put in the, dis the damage on any champion from basically across the map. You're not going to miss. It's a hitscan weapon. It's great. Tracking Rocket Launcher. Not going to be a bad thing either. Um, I don't know how Two-Tailed Fox would go. Sleeper Simulate. If you can get a couple shots in with that, probably going to ruin some champions as well as long as you get those crits. I haven't tried it yet, but I know it definitely got that buff recently, so it's going to be hitting hard. Those are the main two that I know of. I don't think Air Apparent would be great. The shield might not be bad, but on the other side, it's a lot of bullets to try and break down a champion with a regular machine gun and not the other. So, as you guys can see, this guy won't ruin my time. Resistance. Arc, not a bad thing to go with, but solar up wouldn't be either. Void resistance, probably find another piece of armor. Whatever you're going to use, major spec on there. The scout rifle is crucial, so matching a solar scout rifle is really going to help you put out more damage. Hand cannon for the overload captains. Put the chunk damage in, go for the finisher, and obviously use your super. I could have used it like seven times in a 35-minute run. It would have been, so been done sooner. But that is a run with no super, no exotics, and we got it done. So... Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. I don't know if it was flawless or I don't think it was, but I didn't get the checkbox. Maybe I'd actually done it before. Who knows? But if you did enjoy this video and you enjoyed the agony that I went through and the outtakes that are going to come right after this, please drop like below. Leave a comment if you guys have any loadouts that you like using, any exotics for any class. If you want to find me on Twitter, it's, Ebon it's at Ebontis. Streaming on twitch.tv slash Ebontis and right here on YouTube if you want to support me. You can hit that um, subscribe button. You can hit the alert bell if you want my YouTube videos to make it to your YouTube feed. And if you do want to support me with a little extra, you can hit that join button be a member of the channel. Thank you all very, ha very much. Have a good one and good luck. Oh, I got two of them over there. That's not fantastic at all. That's literally all it takes. I shouldn't have jumped. <laughs> now I can laugh at that because I've done enough of these that it's not going to hold that much against me. But if you put 17 minutes of work and you're like one death, bam, that will be frustrating for some people. I get that. But I'm going to try it again. So you guys will probably see this at the end. But yeah, off to take two we go. This is where you're going to have your one shielded enemy and it's the heavy shank, which really isn't that bad. If you do pull up here, use your cover. But also be aware, if you come over here where I am, you may not be alone as much as you think. And there may even be enemies across the way, if you haven't cleared as many out as you think. Oh. <laughs> That's two. There's two for the outtakes. Now you know he's going to shield up there. Now, if I can get aggressive and get this kill off, I will definitely go for it. Ow, 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 come on. Be ready for it. Still got this. Come on. No! Oh.